Peppa Pig Tales. Let's jump in. Welcome oh. to the ice cream shop. It is a very <gasps> hot day. So Peppa and George are playing ice cream shop. Here you go, Mr Daddy Pig. Oh, thank you. What would you like, Mrs Mummy Pig? I'd like a banana split, please. Hooray! Ooh. What's a banana split, Granny? <laughs> it's a type of dessert. First, we need to cut a banana in half. Nana! Oh, ho, 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 ho. Now we add ice cream, cherries and whipped cream. Ah. George <laughs> likes adding the ice cream. Careful, don't squish the banana. <laughs> <laughs> and Peppa really likes adding whipped cream. Whoops. <laughs> 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 Don't forget ah. the cherry on top. Ah. Here is your banana split, Mrs. Mummy Pig. <laughs> this looks delicious. Oh, please could I have a Knickerbocker Glory? Uh -huh. A Knockanori? What's that, madam? Ho, ho, ho. Uh -huh. It's a type of ice cream sundae. Can you only eat them on Sundays? Mm. Ho, ho. Not that type of sundae. You can eat them any time. Ah. I'll show you. Uh -huh. We need ice cream, fruit, meringue and cream. <laughs> Peppa and George add all the ingredients into the glass. Oh. And now you can decorate the top. Yay. Then decorate with wafers, colourful sprinkles and sauce. Here you are, ah, madam. This looks wonderful. <laughs> now everyone has been served, what kind of ice cream would you two like? Hmm, a rainbow <laughs> one. Rainbow. Peppa and George use lots of different <laughs> coloured ice cream. Pink for strawberry, brown for chocolate, yellow for <laughs> banana. Nana. Then they add their toppings. Mm -hmm. Let's mix it all together. Um. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Pepper and George have mixed all the colours together. We've made a muddy puddle. Ah. Not rainbow ice cream. I'm afraid we don't have much ice cream left. All we have is... Vanilla. My favourite. <laughs> Peppa and George like making special ice creams, but they love vanilla ice cream the most. Squish! Today, Peppa and her playgroup are at a juice factory. They're learning how juice is made. And this is the fruit squeezer. It squeezes all the juice out of the oranges. Can I try squeezing oranges, Miss Rabbit? Of course. You can all try. Hooray! Everyone is having lots of fun squeezing the oranges. But it is very hard work. <laughs> My hands are tired. That's OK, because next up, we have the juice stomper. Oh. The stomper has big boots to stomp out all the juice from the strawberries. Oh, can I try stomping, Miss Rabbit? Yes, everyone can try. Hooray! Pop these boots on and stomp away. <laughs> It's just like jumping in muddy puddles. Well done, everyone. Now, follow me. This is where the juice is put into cartons. We have to match the flavour with the picture on the cartons. What flavour is this one? It's red. Is it strawberry? Well done, Mandy. Press the red button to fill it up. And how about this one? It's green. So... Apple! Spot 
on, Susie. And this one? It's Ooh. lots of colour. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Peppa. You've created a brand new type of juice. It's rainbow juice. <laughs> Everyone thinks the rainbow juice looks very delicious indeed. This is the tasting room. It's where we make sure all the juice tastes scrum diddly umptious. But to make it fun, you have to guess what flavour each juice is. Peppa and her playgroup love tasting <laughs> juice. This is orange Aha. juice. Mmm. <laughs> this is apple juice. Ah. Ah. This tastes like all the juices at once. That's because it's your special rainbow <gasps> juice. Yum, yum, yum. Peppa loves learning about juice. And Peppa really loves her delicious rainbow juice. Yummy, tasty food. Yummy, tasty Today on the cruise, yum, Peppa yum. and her family are at a very special wow. type of restaurant. This is a special type of restaurant called a buffet. Just take a plate and choose the food you want to eat. Enjoy! Oh, oh goody! The restaurant mm. buffet has lots of different foods to choose from. What would you like to eat, Peppa? Spaghetti is my favourite. Right you are. But we mustn't take too much. We can always come back and get some more. Oh, good idea. <laughs> and what would you like, George? Juice! <laughs> Thirsty, are you? I think we can rustle up some orange juice. Let's see here. Aha! Ooh. The orange juice machine is very loud. And it hasn't made very much orange juice at all. Oh. Juice! We'll just have to make some more. Delicious. I can't wait to... Finished! Oh. Mm. <laughs> you were hungry, Peppa. Can I get some more now, please? Oh. Of course. Let's go. Hooray! Grandpa Pig is still trying to make George a cup of orange juice. Oh, dear. Could we have some more oranges, please, Miss Rabbit? Right away. Peppa has found a very special pancake machine. Just one pancake, please, Mr. Robot. I can always come back and get more. Mm -hmm. Splendid! Aha! Granny Pig is ah. very excited to eat her spaghetti. Ah! Finish! Oh. Thank you, Pancake Robot. But now, Peppa is thirsty mm. too. Can I get some juice as well, Granny? Of course. Grandpa Pig can get you some. I do wonder what's oh. taking him so long. Mm. <gasps> Grandpa Pig has finally made a <gasps> cup of orange juice. In fact, Grandpa Pig has made lots of cups of orange juice. Oh. The machine has finally stopped ah. making orange oh. juice. Phew! Silly Grandpa. You don't need to make all the juice. You can always come back and get more. Peppa loves the buffet restaurant. Mm. And George really <laughs> loves orange juice. Today, Peppa's playgroup is having a very special lesson. Today we're learning about the 4th of July, American Independence Day. What's Independence Day? Independence Day is a day when Americans <laughs> celebrate all the things they love about their country. And we have a very special visitor. Happy Independence Day, everyone! 
<laughs> Mr. Bull has just been on holiday in America and has agreed to share some of the things he loved there with us. Let's start with an American party called a cookout. We can cook together using my new barbecue. I'll be the grill master. Ooh. Mr. Bull's barbecue is very big. Oh, thank you, Mr. Bull. But we will have our barbecue later and outside. Righto. First, we are going to dress up. Peppa and her friends are dressing up in the colors of the American flag. Red, white, and blue. <laughs> the grill master and his barbecue are fired up and ready to go. Is it time yet? No, Mr. Bull. We must decorate first. Oh, of course. Back to the grill I go. Wahey! Next, everyone is hanging red, white, and blue decorations. Hooray! Now, Peppa and her friends are making an American flag. How many stars does an American flag have? Um, lots and lots. Whoop! <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. That's lots and lots of stars, children. The American flag has 50 stars. One for every state, you know. Now, is it time for the barbecue yet? Hmm. Yes, it's time. Hooray! <laughs> Mr. Bull is very excited to use his barbecue. Hope y'all ready for some authentic American barbecue! <laughs> oh, oh, oh! But the barbecue has burned all the food. Mm, what can we eat now? Don't you worry, I'm not just a grill master. I'm also a delicious all American apple pie master! I love apple pie. It's the most American food there is, especially with fireworks. Yeah! Everyone loves fireworks and apple pie, especially on Independence Day. Hmm. Today, oh. Peppa and George are helping Daddy Pig tidy some old boxes. <laughs> What's this, Daddy? Ah, that's my trusty old camera, Peppa. You press the button to take a picture. Cheese! And it prints the photo out. Look, I can see it. Can I have a go, please? <laughs> Say cheese! Cheese! Now Peppa is taking photos with the camera. This camera is really fun. Camera! Have fun! But there isn't much photo paper left, so use it wisely. George loves taking lots of photos. <laughs> oh dear, it's run out of photo paper. Oh, but I love taking pictures. Hmm. Why don't we use my phone's camera instead? It can even add filters to a photo. Hmm. <laughs> Daddy Pig's phone camera has given George a pretend moustache. <laughs> Come on, George. Let's take more photos. Peppa and George are having lots of fun taking pictures. The phone camera has given Mummy Pig a flowery filter. Say cheese! Oh! And Grandpa Pig has a very fine hat. <laughs> Pepper, George and Daddy Pig have come to the park to take even more photos. <laughs> Hello, Mr and Mrs Bird. Oh. <laughs> Say cheese, Mr. Bull. Cheese! <laughs> what a funny photo! Daddy Pig wants to take a photo with Pepper and George <laughs> by the ducks. Say cheese, everybody. One, two, three, cheese! <laughs> <laughs> 
Peppa and George are sticking all the photos from the day <laughs> into a scrapbook. Look at this one, George. Bye! But some of the photos are blurry. Oh. The photos don't have to be perfect. They just have to remind you of a lovely day. Everyone loves taking photos and everyone has had a very lovely day. Today, Peppa and her family are exploring an air show. Miss Rabbit is flying a hot air balloon. The sky is full of hot air balloons. Wow, there's so many of them. A cloud, a broccoli, a clown, a <laughs> yes, very good, George. What's that? That is a biplane, Peppa. What is it doing? Some planes can write messages or draw in the sky. The biplane has drawn a picture of Peppa in the sky. <laughs> it's me. Hello, everybody. Hello, Hello Dr. Dr. Hamster. Hamster. Thank you for the sky picture. You're very welcome. <laughs> Off I go! What's this? Is that another hot air balloon? This is a blimp. It floats like a balloon but has little propellers that help it fly along like a plane. Peppa and George think the blimp is very exciting. Would you all like a ride? Blimp, yeah. blimp, blimp! The blimp is taking off into the sky. We're so oh. high up. This is the captain's announcement. In the sky, <laughs> you'll see a bird. Hello, birds. A cloud. <laughs> Hello, clouds. Oh, and Dr. <gasps> Hamster. Hello again. There's so many buttons. Oh, yes. It takes lots of work to pilot a blimp like this. So please don't press any buttons. Um. <laughs> <laughs> this steering wheel helps move the blimp in different directions. Up and down and side to side. <laughs> and the radio Ooh. lets us make announcements to the whole air show. Ooh, can I make a pronouncement? I have a very important pronouncement to make. Of course. <clears throat> Hello, I'm Peppa Pig. I'm in a blimp, which is a bit like a balloon, but also a plane. I hope you all have a lovely time at the air show. Oh dear, we've forgotten one very important thing. A pilot hat for Peppa and George. I'm Pilot Peppa. Pilot! <laughs> Peppa loves the air show. Everyone loves the air show. Pretty cool, eh, Peppa? <laughs> Daddy, we're getting shoes for George, not you. Oh, yes. Today, George is buying <laughs> some new shoes. Hello, Miss Rabbit. We need some new shoes for George. <laughs> George's shoes are very old. Well, you're in luck. The shoe shop has lots oh. of shoes. We'll find George the perfect pair. Hooray! First, we need to measure your feet. Pop your foot in the measurer, please. <laughs> Miss Rabbit is measuring George's feet to help him find shoes that are the right size. Your feet are very small. That's because George is a baby. <laughs> no. George is not a baby. Follow me. <laughs> oh. We keep all our very small shoes over here. Which shoes do you ah. like, George? Shoes! <laughs> Those are bowling shoes. George <laughs> loves to oh. go bowling. And he ah. loves bowling <laughs> shoes. Are you sure you want those shoes, George? <laughs> shoes! Those are tap dancing Aha. shoes. Aha. They're very noisy. <laughs> George loves to make lots of noise. Maybe too noisy. <laughs> shoes. They are clown shoes. Uh -huh. <laughs> ah. 
George oh. loves clown Whoa. shoes. Whoa. <laughs> They're too big. And George is very small. Oh, uh, shoes! Shoes! George tries on lots of shoes. <laughs> Tall ones. Little ones. Oh. Oh. And even silly ones. But none of them are quite right. George, they are not shoes. <laughs> shoes! These are just like your old <gasps> shoes. Shoes! George would like ah. new shoes ah. that are just like <laughs> his old shoes. Jolly good. We'll take them, please, Miss Rabbit. Miss Rabbit? Phew! I'm under here! Oh. Shoes! George loves his new shoes and he loves the shoe shop. Everyone loves the shoe shop. Hmm. Ooh. And that's how you play shuffleboard. My puck landed at the bottom, so I get one point. Wow. Today on the cruise, Peppa and her family are learning to play shuffleboard. Now, Grandpa Pig can either knock my puck away or slide his into the triangle and get points. Let's give it a go. Grandpa Pig has knocked Granny Pig's puck into George's sand. That's two points for me. Can I try next? Yes, use this cue stick and push the puck into the triangle. Hmm. Ugh. Oh, it didn't move very much. Why don't you try giving yourself a running start? Good idea. Pepper is taking a big oh. runner. Oh. But the sand oh. is very slippery. <laughs> I didn't get any points. Not to worry. It's about having fun, not scoring points. Besides, no one is an expert their first time. <laughs> Good well show. done, George. I'll just have to keep trying. <laughs> Peppa is trying lots of different ways of sliding the puck. Whoa! My ice cream. Aha. Uh -huh. uh -huh. But uh. nothing seems to be working. Ah. <laughs> uh. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Oh. At least you missed my ice cream cone this time. Whoa. Oh dear. My turn, Peppa. Here you go, Granny. <sniffs> ah. Granny's puck has pushed Peppa's puck into the triangle. I got three points. Hooray! Peppa <laughs> is very excited ah. to keep practicing, but there are no pucks left to play with. Oh. <laughs> George has used them to complete his sandcastle. Everyone loves playing shuffleboard, but George loves making sandcastles even more. Huh. Uh. 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 Wow! Today, Peppa and her family are visiting the arcade. You got a high score. That's because Pepper and I are experts at all of these games. Look at all these tokens, Pepper. If you collect lots of these, you can trade them in for a huge prize. Wow, a prize? Squeak! Look at all these tokens. <laughs> can we play that game next? Of course, Pepper. Mummy Pig is showing Peppa how to play Carrot Bob. 
She is bobbing the carrots whenever they pop up. Would you both like to have a go? Yes, please. More token. Does this mean we can get a really big prize, Daddy? Daddy? <laughs> Daddy Pig is playing the dancing game. Daddy Pig loves dancing. Wow. I'm a bit of an expert at dancing, you know. Your turn, Peppa. Just the game. <laughs> Peppa and her family are playing a balloon game. Whoever fills their balloon with water first wins. Did we get another high score? Yes, your score was so high that you have all won the jackpot. Now you can trade in all your tokens for a huge prize. Hello again, Peppa. Here are all our tokens. Can we please have our prize? Of course. With this many tokens, you can get a marvellous, extraordinary, one-of-a-kind pencil. Hooray! A pencil! Peppa loves winning lots of tokens with her family at the arcade. And Peppa really loves her brand new pencil. Peppa and her family are flying in an aeroplane. Woohoo! Yay! I love flying in aeroplanes. <laughs> but not everyone loves flying in aeroplanes. <laughs> oh, hello, Madam Gazelle. George and I love flying. <laughs> Do you love it too? Actually, I have never been on an aeroplane before. And I am scared. Huh? Oh. Oh. Hmm. Oh, I know what to do. Miss Rabbit, please can you make the plane go really, really high? I don't see why not. Oh. It's really fun when the plane goes high, Madam Gazelle. Look, we're nearly in space. Oh. Oh, too high! Too high! Oh. Can we go lower instead, Miss Rabbit? Certainly. Oh! Whee! Do a loop de loop. Oh! I don't think that worked either, George. <gasps> Look, Madam Gazelle, oh. that cloud is shaped like a bird. Do you see? Yes, I see. <gasps> and that one is shaped like a relaxing desert island. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's no good. I will just close my eyes and wait for this to be over. Oh, dear. Hello. Would you two like an activity book? They're lots of fun. Ooh. Oh, yes, please. Would you like to oh. do some colouring in with us, Madam Gazelle? Well... I suppose that might keep my mind off things. And so Peppa, George and Madam Gazelle did some relaxing colouring for the rest of the flight. Look at these! The line work, the attention to detail. Incredible! A star plus! Oh, hooray! 
We've landed. Whee! Already? But I was having fun. That wasn't scary at all. I told you, flying is really fun. Thank you for helping me, Peppa and George. Now I cannot wait to fly home. <laughs> Today, Peppa and her friends are at a go-kart track. Hello, everybody. Who's ready to race go-karts? Me! Me! Oh! Peppa and her friends put on their race suits. Red is my favourite colour. Ooh. And don't forget your safety helmets. Now, let's pick your go-karts. Yay! <laughs> Danny Dog has put his helmet on backwards. <laughs> now, the pedals make the go-kart go. And the brakes make it stop. And the steering wheel helps the go-kart turn. Whee! It's just like riding a bike. Why don't you all give it a try and start pedalling slowly? I drive a big car all the time. A go-kart should be easy. Whoa! Whoa! Oh dear, I think I went a little bit too fast. Now. How do I turn around? <laughs> nah. The go-kart race has begun. <laughs> this is fun! But Susie Sheep is pedalling backwards. Try pedalling forward, Susie. Forward? Oh! <laughs> nah. Woohoo! Danny Dog is pedalling very quickly. Remember to use the brake, Danny. <laughs> huh? Mummy Pig is having trouble making her go-kart go. Let's see. This makes it go backwards. Do you need help, Mummy Pig? Oh, no thank you, Miss Rabbit. I'm sure I can do it. My go-kart is too wiggly. Peppa is driving all over the racetrack. Turn the steering wheel more gently, Peppa. Oh, much better. Peppa and her friends like driving around the racetrack in their go-karts. There we go. Whee! And Mummy Pig has finally got her go-kart moving. <laughs> Time's up! Well done, everybody! Hooray! But the go-kart race has finished. Oh. Peppa and her friends love racing go-karts. Today, Peppa and George are going for a picnic with <laughs> Granny and Grandpa Pig. <laughs> Nearly there! Whoa. It's Peppa's first time being in charge of packing the picnic. Are you OK, Peppa? I need to bring all my toys for the picnic, but they won't fit. Hmm. Do you need all of your toys? Uh, I know. I can just bring Teddy instead. Dinosaur! <laughs> and dinosaur. Wonderful. We won't have space for the food if we bring all your toys. What kind of food would you like to make for the picnic, Pepper? Oh, let's make spaghetti. I love spaghetti. Spaghetti is not very good picnic food. How about sandwiches? I love sandwiches too. <laughs> what is your favourite kind of sandwich? Jam! <laughs> Peppa, George and Granny Pig are making Yay! jam sandwiches. Will we need anything else for the picnic, Peppa? Um, we need a comfy picnic blanket. Can you find one, Grandpa? Aye, aye, Peppa. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. 
Making jam sandwiches is very messy. And cleaning the mess has made an even bigger mess. Not to worry. You can't make jam sandwiches without getting a little jammy. <laughs> Pepper's sandwiches are triangles. Ta-da! And George's are dinosaurs. <laughs> Got the blanket. Do we need anything else, Peppa? Mm. We need cups for our orange juice. Well done, Peppa. Looks like we're ready to go. This is going to be so oh. much fun. Oh no, it's raining. Picnics are not as fun in the rain. Oh dear, I think our outdoor picnic will have to wait, oh. Peppa. Oh. But why don't we have an indoor picnic instead? Yay! Peppa has set up her picnic indoors. Now we can have a picnic even when it's raining. And all my toys can come too. Picnic! <laughs> Everyone loves Peppa's picnic and Peppa loved packing it for them. Hello everyone, I'm Peppa, the dentist. I'll help you look after your teeth. Whoa! Today, Miss Rabbit has come to teach Peppa's playgroup about teeth. Peppa is pretending she is a dentist. <laughs> Got you. For you. Thank you, Peppa. Well, now that you've caught your teeth, <laughs> who knows what we can do to look after them? Um... um... <laughs> Go to the dentist? That's right. Who has been to the dentist before? Me me me, 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 me! Gerald Giraffe has not been to the dentist before. Can I show Gerald what it's like at the dentist, Miss Rabbit? I've been lots of times. What a great idea! <laughs> Peppa is pretending she is the dentist and Gerald is the patient. Hello, Mr Gerald. Please sit on this enormous chair. <laughs> Thank you, Mrs Dentist. Here is your apron. <laughs> <gasps> Why do I need glasses, Mrs Pepper? For this big light. Please open wide like this. Ah! So I can see your teeth. Ah! Oh. Peppa is using the torch to see Gerald's teeth. You have very nice teeth, Mr. Gerald. So you get a sticker. Thank you. <laughs> Hooray! Well done, Peppa and Gerald. <laughs> Does anyone know a way we can look after our teeth at home? Um. um there, we can brush our teeth. That's right, Susie. Brushing our teeth keeps them clean. Shall we practice brushing our teeth? Yes! Miss Rabbit is giving everyone toothbrushes so they can practice brushing their teeth. First, we get the brush wet. <laughs> then, we put some toothpaste on. Everyone is adding little dollops of toothpaste to their toothbrush. But Candy has added a big dollop. Now what do we do, class? We... Brush! <laughs> Remember to brush the front and the side, top and bottom. Well done, everyone. <laughs> everyone did very well today. So everyone gets stickers. <gasps> Peppa likes pretending to be a dentist and Peppa really likes stickers. Peppa and her friends are at the cinema. They've just watched a film called Vegetables in Space 2. <laughs> Don't worry, Pedro. I'll save you. Everyone enjoyed the film so much, they're pretending they are in it. Would you like to play vegetables?
vegetables and space at my house. Yes, yes, yes please! please. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Everyone is very excited to get dressed up for the game. Pedro Pony is an astronaut. Oh, yeah. Susie Sheep is a robot. Gerald oh. Giraffe is an alien. And Pepper oh. is a space hero. Let's go outside and pretend we're on the moon. Hooray! <laughs> Follow me! Pew, pew! Peppa and her friends are imagining they're on the moon, just like in the film. Everyone has lots of fun pretending to float on the moon. Oh, good idea, Gerald. We can use the rocket cars to drive around. <laughs> Oh dear, oh. there aren't enough rocket cars for everyone. Do you want to ride on my car, Susie? Buzz, buzz. Susie <laughs> is pretending her boots are rocket boots. Now everyone has a fun way to explore the moon. Um, what are we looking for on the moon? Beep, the only thing on the moon is the moon. Beep, papa. The moon is made of cheese. So maybe we can find some for lunch. Of course. <laughs> what was that? Was it a moon monster? No, Peppa. I am <gasps> your daddy. And I've brought you all some cheese sandwiches for lunch. Everyone loves pretending to play on the moon, but everyone loves lunchtime even more. <laughs> Peppa and her family are out in the car. Oh. But they're having a bit of trouble. Oh dear, the car won't start. You've broken oh. down. Don't worry, I'll take you to the garage. I'll be back in a jiffy. <laughs> Mr. Bull is towing the car away to be fixed. George and Pepper like being towed. Hmm. Oh, ha. oh dear, I see. Well... We can fix it. Oh, good. But we'll have to order a new part. It won't be easy or cheap. Oh. oh, dear. How long will it take? It will take as long as it takes. But how will I get to work? There's lots of cars you can use while yours is being fixed. Follow me. There's lots of spare cars at the garage. Pick any one you like. <gasps> a motorbike. This is perfect. Oh. Let's take it for a test drive. <laughs> Danny Pig likes riding the motorbike. Hello. <gasps> but motorbikes don't keep you dry in the rain. Hmm. Maybe we need something a bit tougher. Let's try this. Peppa has found a monster truck, which is very tough. I think a monster truck might be a bit too tough for what we need. Sorry. What about something nice and spacious, like this Ooh. bus? <laughs> ah. Mummy Pig likes the bus very much. Ooh. Ah. It's ever so roomy and peaceful. Oh dear. Ah. But everyone thinks it's a real bus. There's only one car left for Peppa and her family to try. It's a bit smelly. 
That's because it's my lorry for collecting the recycling. So you can't take that one, I'm afraid. I'm not sure we'll ever find a car as perfect as our car. <laughs> well, that's lucky. You took so long to pick a new car that we managed to fix your old one. Hooray! Thank you, Mr. Bull. Thank you, Grandad Dog. <laughs> Pepper's family like driving different cars, but they like driving their family car most of all. Today, Pepper and her family have come to London to watch Super Potato, the musical. Goodness, we'd better get walking or we'll miss the start of the show. Oh no, we're going to get all wet. Not to worry, we can take the underground train instead. Hooray! The underground train is underground. <laughs> it never rains underground. <laughs> and there is a colourful map that shows where all the trains go. It looks like spaghetti. So, we are here. And we need to get here. We can take the blue train first and then take the red train. Yes, well done, Pepper. Off we go. First, Pepper must have her ticket checked by the ticket barrier. <laughs> Thank you, ticket robot. I'm stuck. Hold tight, Pepper. I'll get you out. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. This way, Pepper. Follow the blue line, everyone. Um, I'm stuck too. <laughs> the train is arriving at the platform from a very dark tunnel. The train is very, very busy. Why is everybody rushing? They are in a hurry. Everyone on the underground train is in a hurry. On we go. Watch your step, everyone. Hello, everyone. Welcome aboard the blue train. Mind the doors. Hold on, Pepper. The underground train is very bumpy. <laughs> <laughs> on your left, you'll see under the ground. And on your right, you'll see even more under the ground. Change here for the red train. The red train? That's us. Watch your step, George. Hold tight, everyone. <laughs> we're here, we're here. The show starts in a few minutes. We might miss the beginning. Oh, no, you won't. Follow me. I'll get you to Super Potato the Musical on time, or my name isn't... Super Potato! Hooray! <laughs> Big celebrity coming through! Make way for the star, thank you! <laughs> no autographs today! Super Potato is in a hurry, too. Everyone on the underground train is in a hurry. <laughs> Today, Peppa and her family have been shopping at the supermarket. <laughs> Goodbye, supermarket. Supermarket! <laughs> Is that a robot? <laughs> no, Peppa. It's a vending machine. You put money in to buy the food and drinks inside. Can we buy something from the robot, please? <laughs> OK. We can each choose one thing as a special treat. Yay! Peppa is very excited to buy something from the robot vending machine. Here you go, Peppa. <laughs> Goodbye, coin. Now, press the button that matches the thing you would like. I would like an orange juice. There it is! Hooray! Delicious! <laughs> dinosaur! George has found a biscuit shaped like a dinosaur. Here you go, George. <laughs> now, press the button with the 
dinosaur. <laughs> dinosaur! <gasps> <laughs> I think I will have hmm, that drink. Oh dear, it's stuck. Daddy Pig's drink is stuck on a sandwich. The sandwich is in the way. Naughty sandwich. We'll need to buy the sandwich as well, so the drink will fall down with it. Oh, it's stuck again. Naughty pineapple. Ah, let's buy that too. It's stuck again! Again! <laughs> the drink has finally fallen all the way down to the bottom. Goody! I can finally have my drink. <gasps> oh no! My drink has turned into fizz. Poor Daddy. Why don't you choose something else from the vending machine? Good idea. <gasps> oh, the vending machine is empty. That's because we bought everything. <laughs> Hello, I'm King Pepper. It's another day at Playgroup. And everyone is pretending Pepper is the king. I'm the king, and I say everyone should eat lots of yummy food. <laughs> of course, Your Majesty. Hooray! <laughs> king Pepper is enjoying wow. being king of the playgroup. She really likes all the yummy food. I've brought you some raisins, <gasps> Mrs. King. Mm. Oh, thank you, Candy. I love raisins. Mmm. But I am getting very full. Um, can I be the king for a while if you're full, King Pepper? Good idea. Here you go, King Pedro. Oh. Now, Pedro Pony <laughs> is the king of the playgroup. I say everyone has to hop. Mmm. Why, Mr. Highness? Because hopping is fun. King Pedro is right. Hopping is fun. <laughs> Very good hopping, Danny. Well, thank you, King Pedro. Hop, hop. <laughs> King Pedro, you said everyone should hop. That means you should too. Oh, that's right. Hop. <laughs> hop, 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 hop. <laughs> Would you like to be the king now, Candy? <gasps> Meow. Yes, please. Hop, hop. <laughs> now Candy is the king. <laughs> oh, I say everyone has to be really quiet. <laughs> <laughs> Now, everyone has to be loud. Now, quiet. <laughs> now, loud. Everyone is enjoying King Candy and King Danny's rules very much. Now George is the king. Hmm. Sure. Hooray! King George says that everyone should dinosaur. Everyone loves being king of the playgroup, but everyone loves being dinosaurs even more. Peppa and Rebecca Rabbit are making a pillow fort today. Careful, don't fall on the fort. Almost got it. Whoa! Squeak! We 
We did it! Now we need to decorate the inside. Uh, hmm, something else is missing. Oh, oh something, something to eat! eat. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy! What a beautiful pillow fort! Can we have something to eat, please? Of course. I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Let's pretend the pillow fort is really big inside. <coughs> wow! <laughs> Catch, Papa! <laughs> Let's pretend the floor is really bouncy, like a trampoline. Squeak! <laughs> it's so bouncy! <laughs> oh no! The ball bounced over there. Let's bounce after it. This floor is green, so let's pretend it's squelchy! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> but the ball isn't here, maybe over there. <laughs> <laughs> this room is blue, so let's pretend it's cold! <laughs> There's the ball! Hooray! L let's get out of here. Um, which way did we c come in? Peppa, where are you? We're lost in the pillow fort. I'll come get you. No, Mummy. The fort isn't built for grown-ups. <laughs> oh, I can fit through anything. <sighs> <gasps> Mummy Pig is stuck. Oh. <sighs> Mummy, your wiggles are breaking the fall. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Phew. Ooh. All that pretending has made me even more hungry. Good thing I brought you some food. Now, we just need to find it under these pillows. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello, Hello Pepper. Oh. <laughs> Mummy Pig is dropping Pepper off at Playgroup. But Mummy Pig is also looking after Baby Alexander. Oh, my. Mind if I clean up Alexander's smelly nappy before I go, Madam Gazelle? I insist! <laughs> oh, can we help clean him up? Please! <laughs> OK. Can you pass me the nappy cream from the changing bag? <gasps> and a fresh nappy. <laughs> Everyone likes helping Mummy Pig change baby Alexander's nappy. <laughs> there. Fresh as a daisy. Can baby Alexander play with us? Please! Well, I don't see why not. Hooray! Peppa is showing baby Alexander all her favourite bits of the playgroup. These are the books. <gasps> baby Alexander likes all the books. This is the whole world. <laughs> and he enjoys spinning the globe. <laughs> and this is Madame Gazelle. Bonjour, little Alexander. Oh! But he likes Madame Gazelle most of all. Uh -huh. <laughs> Perhaps it is time for some painting. <laughs> Everyone is painting pictures of themselves, mm. called ah. self-portraits. I'm Peppa Paint. Hello. <laughs> Hi, Peppa. I'm Freddy. <laughs> I'm Susie. <laughs> and I'm Gerald. <laughs> well done, baby Alexander. It looks like a tasty apple. Baby Alexander's painting has reminded <laughs> Peppa that it's time for lunch. 
It's baby Alexander's lunchtime, too. He's eating special food for babies. Here comes the train, Alexander. Choo-choo! Is baby Alexander's food nice, Mummy? He thinks so. Oh. oh, my. Mind if I clean Alexander up again before we head off? I insist. I'll get the bag. Oh, it's gone. Everyone loves having baby Alexander at playgroup. And baby Alexander loves visiting. <laughs> Who's ready for an adventure to the seaside? Hooray! Yay! Peppa and her family are going out for the day. Oh dear, I think I forgot to put petrol in the car. Never mind. Let's take the train to the beach. Hooray! Peppa and her family are catching a train to the seaside. Tickets, please. We're going to the seaside. And Mummy didn't put petrol in the car. How exciting! <laughs> I love the seaside. I think it's time for some lunch. Pepper, <laughs> let's look for the dining carriage. <laughs> Daddy Pig and Pepper are walking through the train to the dining carriage. It is very wobbly. This carriage must be for passengers who want to sleep. <laughs> Whoa! This carriage must be for people who want to play on the train. Wow! Hi, Danny! Hi, Gerald! <laughs> Whee! <laughs> uh oh! Oh! This must be the cinema carriage. Excuse, Excuse me. me. Peppa and Daddy Pig have found the dining carriage. <sighs> this carriage must be for people who want lunch. Oh. Is that your tummy rumbling, Daddy? I'm afraid the train has broken down. Oh dear, we'll have to take the bus. Now, Peppa's family are waiting to catch the bus uh, to the seaside. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ah. All aboard! <laughs> Next stop, the seaside! Hooray! Hooray! Whoa! The bus has broken huh. down. I think somebody forgot petrol again. <laughs> now how will we get to the seaside? Well, we can walk. The seaside is just down the hill. This was the best trip to the seaside ever. I can't wait to see how we get back home. <laughs> <laughs> Peppa and her family are taking baby Alexander on the Ferris wheel, but he isn't very happy. What's that smell? <laughs> yeah! Hmm, it's baby Alexander. He needs a nappy change. But we're at the front of the queue for the Ferris wheel. Ooh. Hold your noses, everyone. Ooh, this Ferris wheel smells terrible. Sorry, Pepper, but it's our job to look after baby Alexander. If we help now, we can play later. Yes. Baby Alexander needs our help. That's the spirit. Now let's go and look for a nappy changing station. Oh, that's better. Not here. <coughs> oh. <laughs> Not here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Definitely not here. 
Done, Peppa. We found the nappy changing station. First, we have to take off the dirty nappy and put it in the bin. Um, where is the bin? Hmm. Ooh. Here it is, Daddy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Now we must wash our hands. Add a dab of cream. Whoa! <laughs> Whoops! Sorry, Peppa. Now, finally, a clean nappy. Can I do this bit, Daddy? Of course, Peppa. There. All better. That was so fun. I've never changed a nappy before. You did very well, Peppa. But do you know what's even more fun than changing a nappy? Today, Peppa and her friends are at the water park. Hello, everyone. Hello, Hello Miss, Miss Rabbit. Rabbit. <laughs> Before you all go swimming, I have some important rules to teach you. Miss Rabbit is telling everyone how to be safe in the swimming pool. The first rule is no splashing. <laughs> no splashing, Mr Bull. Whoops. Sorry, Pepper. Sorry, Miss Rabbit. That's OK, Mr Bull. The second rule is no running. <laughs> Silly Mr Bull, no running. Sorry again. Mr Bull doesn't know any of the rules. And the last rule is everyone must have a simply splendid time. Oh, oh. Have a splendid time, Mr. Bull. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Right you are, Pepper. Enjoy the pool, everyone. What shall we do first? Let's go on the water slide. Hooray! Everyone is very excited to ride the water slides. <laughs> Hello again. Who wants to go down the slide? Me! <laughs> well, you're in luck. There is one slide for each of you. Let's have a race. Good idea. Lucky I brought my flag. On your marks, get set, go. And Danny Dog zooms into the lead, followed by Peppa. Then it's Gerald Giraffe and Susie Sheep coming up behind. It's incredibly close. Water slide racing at its best. Hello, Granny. Hello, Mr. Bull. <laughs> oh. They're nearly at the finish line. It's neck and neck. Who will come out on top? It's. Everybody wins! Peppa and her friends love the slides, but they have forgotten the first rule of the water park. Oh. Uh -huh. <clears throat> no, no splashing! splashing. <laughs> Today, Peppa and her friends have come to a special adventure park. Edmund, you can do it. It's really fun. Well done, Edmund. <gasps> this room has a balance beam. 
you have to walk across it without falling into the ball pit. If you all keep working as a team, you'll get all the way through without falling into the ball pits. I'm good at balancing. Follow me. Now, George, Pepper, and Edmund Elephant must cross the balance beam. But Edmund is finding the balance beam a bit difficult. Try going sideways, Edmund. We can do it together. Hooray! Everyone has made it across the balance beam. Now they must swing across this room. This looks tricky. It's just like the swing in the park, Emily. Watch this. Whee! Pepper is very good at swinging. Hooray! Hold on tight, George. Whee! <laughs> Here you go, Edmund. But Edmund Elephant is feeling a little nervous about it. Why don't we go together, Edmund, as a team? Good idea! Whee! Hooray! We did it! Thank you, Emily. Everyone has made it across the big swing. Good teamwork, everyone. One room to go. <laughs> This is the final Whoa. room, but there is no way across the ball pit. We can't jump that far. And there's nothing to swing on. Ho, ho, ho. This room is a bit of a puzzle. <gasps> Nobody knows how to solve the puzzle and get across. Oh. I've got it. But Edmund Elephant is very <gasps> good at puzzles. <laughs> A clever clogs, you know. <laughs> Everyone has made it through the adventure park. That was very clever, Edmund. Edmund? And Edmund Elephant can't wait to do it all over again. Pepper is arriving at Playgroup. Hello, Madame Gazelle. Bonjour, Peppa. You are just in time for a very special game. Madame Gazelle has divided the room into four colours. Red, blue, green and yellow. You can join the green team, Peppa. Here is your bib. Et voila! Now, in this game, I will give you a category. What's a category? Squeak. A category is a group of things. I will say a category, and you have to find something that matches your color. So, if I say food... That means we have to find food. <laughs> well, that was just an example, but... OK, let's begin. Everyone is very excited to play the game. Bananas, these are very yellow. <gasps> oh. <laughs> Tomatoes are red. Susie Sheep's blue food is a blueberry. <laughs> Nothing is bluer than a blueberry. This leaf is green. Unfortunately, Peppa, it is not food. You cannot eat that leaf. But a caterpillar can. <laughs> well done. Hooray! Now, I think the next category is toys. But let me check my list. Which I have lost. Hmm. Everyone at Playgroup loves finding toys. <laughs> that was too easy. I've got another category. What is it? Everything. <laughs> <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> Madame Gazelle is taking a long time to find her list. Found it! 
Now, let's carry on with the... Oh, my. We finished the game, Madam Gazelle. <sniffs> we found everything in the whole room. <laughs> well, in that case, let us play a new game. Putting everything away again. <gasps> Hooray! <laughs> Today is Pancake Day at Peppa's Playgroup. Ah! the pancake pictures? Yes, we can! We just need more pancake mix. Yay! <laughs> Pepper pours flour into the bowl. <laughs> Candy Cat adds an egg to the mix. Wow! Danny Dog adds the milk. And Susie Sheep gives everything a good mix. <laughs> Madam Gazelle adds food colouring to the pancake mix so they can make colourful pancake pictures. Now we can draw any pancake picture we like in the cold pan before we cook the pancake. Can you add some pink here, Susie? <laughs> and some more over here? Wow! What is it? <laughs> what are you drawing, Madam Gazelle? You'll see. Now the pan will get very hot. So you must step back for this bit, children. <laughs> oh! Peppa! The pancake looks just like Peppa. I'm Peppa Pancake. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm really yummy. Can we make a rainbow next? Why, of course. Peppa and her friends add all the colours of the rainbow. Red. Orange. Yellow. Green. Blue. <laughs> no, you haven't. All the blue has created a lovely blue sky. Lovely. Let's make the biggest pancake in the world. Hooray! Baking powder will give us the fluffiest pancake. Just a little will do. Madam Gazelle has added more than a little baking powder. The pancake is getting bigger and bigger. Oh dear. I'm not sure we can eat this, children. Aww. But it makes a great trampoline. Peppa loves Pancake Day. <laughs> Everyone loves Pancake Day. Ooh. 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 Phew. Wow. Oh, oh good day. What's this? What's this? Today is Arts and Crafts Day at Peppa's Playgroup. I have many <gasps> fun arts and crafts planned for today. First is painting. Ooh. But where are the brushes? They're right here. No one is sure what Madame Gazelle means. Where? <laughs> I don't see anything. We're doing finger painting. Instead of brushes, you paint with your hands. Hooray! Peppa and her playgroup are enjoying <laughs> making their finger paintings. A lovely flower, Peppa. Thank you, Madam Gazelle. What a wonderful butterfly, Susie. <laughs> Thank you, Madam Gazelle. <laughs> oh, and Danny, that's a marvellous puddle. Whoop. Thank you, Madam Gazelle. Whoop. Danny is jumping in his painting just like a real muddy puddle. Ah, brilliant idea, Danny. 
We'll do face painting next. Everyone is getting their face painted. Susie is a butterfly. Danny is a zebra. Freddie and Emily are a tiger and a fish. And Pepper is green. I'm green. <laughs> oh! That gives me a fantastic idea. Madame Gazelle has brought over a big oh. canvas with tape on it. What's that, Madame Gazelle? Why, it's a beautiful picture, of course. But I don't see a picture. That's because it's not finished. Each of you take a bottle of paint and splatter as much as you like onto this canvas. <laughs> well done, children. Get messy, have fun, try not to spill on the floor. Everyone is having lots of fun painting on the big canvas. It's beautiful. I love it. Me too. Hmm. But I still don't see a picture. Aha! You will soon, Peppa. Madame Gazelle is taking the tape off the canvas. The tape has made the painting into the shape of... A star! Peppa loves the lovely star and Peppa loves Arts and Crafts Day. Peppa and Susie are pretending to be police officers. Police! We'll help you! <laughs> Thanks, police officers! You're welcome. Now we must get back to solving crimes. Nino! Nino! Oh, my! What is it, Madame Gazelle? I think my special pen has gone missing. <gasps> this sounds like a mystery. Ah. Don't worry. Me and police officer Susie will solve the case. <laughs> Peppa and Susie are looking for clues to find the special pen. They're using a magnifying glass to make small things look bigger. Aha! Purple. That's the oh. same colour oh. as Danny oh. Dog's T-shirt. <gasps> Have you seen oh. the special pen, Danny? I don't think so. Well... We'd better take you to the police station to ask you some questions. Peppa and Susie have made a pretend police station so they can ask everyone questions about the missing pen. <laughs> it's made from books and pillows. This police station doesn't even have doors. It's a nice place to read, though. Peppa and Susie are asking everybody about the special pen. Oh. They've brought Candy Cat to the pretend police station. Candy Cat, can you remember what colour the special pen is? Hmm, red? No, green. Actually, pink. No, uh, blue. Aha, uh -huh. you've been very helpful. Let's take a big look around. The special blue pen must be <gasps> hidden somewhere. Pepper and Susie are searching everywhere for the special pen. Ah! Oh, but they can't find it anywhere. <laughs> I can't find it anywhere. Hmm. I have an idea. Now, Madame Gazelle is answering questions at the pretend police station. When did you last see your pen, Madame Gazelle? Well, let's see. I used it this morning, then I put it behind my ear. Oh, my! Yay! Madame Gazelle's special <laughs> pen has been behind her ear all along. We found it! <laughs> we solved the mystery! <laughs> Hooray! Thank you for helping me, Peppa and Susie. I think you would make very good police <gasps> officers. <laughs> Pepper and Emily Elephant are having lots of fun at the beach today. They love the water. <laughs> Look, Emily, I'm a fish. <gasps> blob, blob, blob. <laughs> 
have an idea. <gasps> Peppa, <gasps> how did you do that, Emily? Did you hold your breath? <laughs> no. I can use my trunk to breathe because it's so long. Oh. <gasps> What's the matter, Peppa? I wish I had a trunk like Emily. So I could breathe underwater and look at the fish. I know. Come with me, Peppa. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> this long tube goes in your mouth and means you can breathe underwater. Like Emily's trunk. <laughs> <laughs> exactly like Emily's trunk. <laughs> Why does your voice sound funny, Peppa? It's my snorkel. It means I can breathe underwater like you. Look! <gasps> no, Peppa! Yuck! Oh, Peppa, you must be careful. Yuck. The snorkel didn't work. And the water tasted horrible. That's because it's salt water, Peppa. You need to keep your lips shut tight around the snorkel so you can breathe through your mouth without letting water in. You have to take long, deep breaths like this. <sighs> Peppa practices taking big, deep breaths. <sighs> Do you want to try again? Um, OK. I did it! I saw lots of colourful fish! Yes, well done! And thank you for helping her, Emily. <laughs> and to get rid of the taste of the salty water, George and I thought you might like some... Ice cream! are walking to the duck pond. But there's a big metal barrier in the way. Sorry, folks. The path is closed. But we're almost at the pond. Huh? I'm afraid it's much too slippy. <laughs> Just follow the diversion signs with the bright red arrows. Won't take you long. A diversion is when you have to go a different way. Come on, everyone. <laughs> It'll be an adventure. See you soon, ducks. <laughs> <laughs> Here it is. Oh. Peppa has found the first bright red arrow. <gasps> and another. Huh. <laughs> and another. <gasps> oh. <gasps> but the next sign has fallen down. Wakey, wakey, Mr. Sign. Ooh. Nobody knows which way to go. Hmm. Do we go left or right? The right way sounds right. <laughs> <laughs> Hooray! Hey! Uh, are we lost? We're not lost. We just don't know where we are. When you don't know where you are, you are probably lost. Uh... Um. Look, oh. a duck. Hello, duck. <laughs> Excuse me, Mrs. Duck. Do you know where the duck pond is? What a spot of luck! Lead the way, duck. This is a duck trail, Daddy. We must all waddle like ducks. We're going to the duck pond, big wiggle whack. 
We're going to see the dogs go quack, quack, quack. We're going to the duck pond, wiggle, wiggle, whack. We're going to see the ducks go quack, quack, quack. Peppa and her family have made it to the duck pond. We did it! Yay! You took your time! I bet you're glad you took the diversion. Yes. It was much more fun. Whoa! <laughs> and much less slippery. Peppa is having lots of fun playing in the snow with her friends. <laughs> But every game they play seems to cover them in cold snow. <laughs> Hello, Daddy. Pepper, you're covered in snow. I think it's time to come inside and warm up, or you'll turn into a snow monster. <laughs> snow monsters don't exist, Daddy. Can we play for five ah. more minutes? Please? Oh, all right then. Five more mi... Yay! <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Peppa and her friends play lots of games in the snow. They aren't worried about turning into snow monsters at all. Let's play snowballs. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> You'll never get me, Peppa! <laughs> hmm? <laughs> what was that noise? It sounded like... Has anybody seen my glasses? A, A snow, snow monster! monster. <laughs> <laughs> Quick! Here. Phew! The snow monster won't find us here. <gasps> ah! The snow monster has found them. Papa, it's me! <laughs> oh, that's not a snow monster. <laughs> it's Daddy Pig! <laughs> I told you there was no such thing as snow monsters. Come on, Daddy. We'll make you warm again and melt all this snow. And look for my glasses on the way. Oh. Your glasses! Hooray! Thank you, Susie. Daddy Pig is very glad to be back home oh. in the world. He's not a snow monster anymore. <laughs> Everyone is warming up inside with hot chocolate. Ah. Ah. Even snow monsters like hot chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> Baby Alexander and his family have come to say Happy Christmas. But Baby Alexander isn't happy at all. Why is Baby Alexander crying? Christmas is fun. Well, this is Baby Alexander's first Christmas. He doesn't know how fun it can be yet. Then it's got to be extra special. I'll show him all my favourite Christmassy things. I love Christmas dinner. It has carrot, potato, sprouts. <laughs> No, you're supposed to eat it, not throw it. Let's try something else. Wrapping present is really fun. You can put the bow on top. No, we need to wrap them up so other people can open them. Baby 
Alexander thinks unwrapping presents is much more fun than wrapping them. I don't think Alexander likes Christmas at all. Really? He's been having fun with you all day. But I wanted it to be extra special for him. Spending Christmas with his cousin is extra special, Peppa. But he's doing it all wrong. Alexander is just a baby. Maybe you need to find some simple things he can do right. Christmas for babies. Oh, I have some ideas. <laughs> Baby Alexander enjoys passing out the Christmas presents. Thank you, Alexander. This one's for Mummy. And he really likes Christmas crafts. <laughs> well done, Alexander. And music. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride on a one-horse open sleigh. Hooray! But he enjoys spending Christmas with Peppa most of all. Now we'll always remember Alexander's first Christmas. <laughs> Today, Peppa is enjoying the flowers in Grandpa Pig's garden. <laughs> oh, bless you, Peppa. What is all this yellow stuff, Grandpa? That is called <laughs> pollen. Bees carry it around the garden and help flowers grow. Thank you for helping the flowers, little bee. <laughs> Careful, Pepper. You mustn't touch the bumblebee. But why, Grandpa? It's so fuzzy and cute. Because you're very big and the bee is very small. So it might be a bit scared. And bees can sometimes sting when they're scared. They can? Yes. So you must be very gentle with them and let them have lots of space. Some people can even be allergic to their stings. Oh. Pepper isn't sure she likes bees anymore. But bees are also very helpful and kind to the world. They're the reason we have honey. <laughs> I love honey. Bees make honey in hives, just like this one. Can I see? Can I see? Whoa there. There's lots of bees in a hive, so you'll have to change first. Ta-da! I mean... Buzz, buzz! Pepper, George and Grandpa Pig are wearing special thick clothing that protects their heads, hands and bodies from being stung. <laughs> Splendid! Grandpa Pig is showing Pepper and George a part of his beehive. All of those bees live in that little house? Yes! This is where they make delicious honey. Bees all work as a team to gather food and protect each other. Like me and George. <laughs> We're just like bumblebees. <laughs> buzz, 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 buzz. <laughs> what happens to all the honey that the bees make? Well, we put it in jars like this. Grandpa Pig is collecting the fresh honey in a glass jar. Then we make yummy honey sandwiches for our lunch. Mmm! This is the best sandwich ever. Thank you, little bee. Pepper loves honey sandwiches, and Pepper loves bees for all the kind things they do. Oh, another apple! Oh. By the power of vegetables, I am here! One moment! Whoa. Um, now I am here! Wow! It is I, 
the superest superhero ever. And I've come here to teach you all how to be superheroes, too. Hooray! Peppa and her playgroup are all dressed as superheroes. Your first lesson of superhero school is to use your superhero powers to do something kind for the world. <gasps> Susie is being kind to the worm by helping to dig its hole. Freddy is being kind to the plant by watering it. And Peppa is being kind to the whole world by making sure all the rubbish is recycled and not on the floor. You all did so well in your first lesson. The next lesson in superhero school is to finish this obstacle course and save Madame Gazelle from the supervillains. On your marks, get set, go! But everyone is too tired to run. We're all puffed out. Why can't we run fast and be super strong? Aren't we superheroes? Hmm. I've got it. Has anyone had any fruits or vegetables today? Mm -hmm. I didn't want to eat my carrots today. <coughs> And I left my apple in my lunchbox. Aha! Fruits and vegetables help us stay healthy and give us super energy. Superheroes ah. must have lots of energy to run and jump. Madame Gazelle has set up a table with plates of delicious fruits and vegetables to eat. Peppa and her friends have eaten their fruits and vegetables. Now they have lots of super energy and are ready to try again. We're here to save you! My heroes! My super heroes! Congratulations! You have all been super today! And every superhero gets a hero's reward. What would you like? Are there any more carrots? By the power of fruits and vegetables, Peppa and her playgroup have saved the day. Peppa and her friends are going to play on the seesaw. <laughs> Is there a problem, Mr. Bull? Just finishing fixing the seesaw, Daddy Pig. <laughs> there, now it's safe as houses and ready to go. Hooray! Peppa loves playing on the seesaw. Will you play with me, Mr. Bull? It's fun. Me? Why not? It is fixed and ready after all. Whee! Oof. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was fun. How are you going to get down? You need to go up so Peppa can come down. Oh, like this? Whee! <laughs> Mr. Bull is stuck at the bottom of the seesaw. Mr. Bull is a grown-up and Peppa is small, so the seesaw won't balance. You need something heavy on Peppa's side. Blimey, how do you know that? I am a clever clonks. <laughs> Righto then. Peppa's backpack will make ah. her heavier. Ah. <laughs> up, 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 up. <laughs> Whee! Whee! Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we are as high as the clouds. <laughs> Mr. Bull is still stuck oh. at the bottom of the seesaw. I suppose it's good fun at the bottom, too. What a cracking view of the grass. <laughs> <laughs> we need another grown-up to play with Mr. Bull. Meow. Hmm. I wonder where we can find another grown-up. You're a grown-up, Daddy. Oh, yes, so I am. I'll play with you, Mr. Bull. Ah. Yay! Whoa! 
<laughs> Daddy Pig and Mr. Bull are both grown-ups. So the seesaw is balanced and goes up and down. Stop! Are you not having fun, Mr. Bull? I'm having a brilliant time. I just wanted to see the view. Okie dokie, let's go! Whee! Up into the sky! Hello, sun! Hello, grass! Hello, clouds! <laughs> Hello, pepper! Snap! Peppa is playing games with her friends. I love playing Snap. I keep winning. I don't like Snap. Peppa would quite like to win a game. Snap! I know. Let's play Snakes and Ladders instead. Woohoo! Snakes and Ladders. But I was winning. One, two, three, four. I'm going to win. Two places. Now I get to go up a ladder. I'm right near the finish line. Now it's your turn, Rebecca. Yeah. Oh dear, Rebecca isn't going to win if she goes down the snake. I know. Let's play Marble Run. I love Marble Run. Marble Run! But I was going to win. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! 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 My pink marble is winning. friends like swapping games. In fact, they like swapping games so much, they've forgotten who is winning. time for a new game called Tidying Up. <laughs> Peppa and Susie Sheep have decided to wear their clothes backwards today. Susie, why are you wearing your clothes backwards? <laughs> and why are you walking backwards? Because today is backwards day. You say and do everything backwards. <laughs> no, we don't. <laughs> <laughs> and Susie Sheep are chasing each other around the garden backwards. <laughs> You're it! Try to catch me! <laughs> it's very difficult to play games backwards. Where did you go, Susie? <laughs> Coming! <laughs> oh. I know! Let's play backwards! 
liquids in the park. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Bull is very confused to see Peppa and oh. Susie Sheep skipping backwards. Good morning. Why are you going backwards? It's backwards day. We have to do everything backwards. Is it backwards day already? <laughs> I'd better get my backwards drills ready. <laughs> oh, whoa! Whoa! Whoops! Sorry! Pepper and Susie Sheep spend backwards day playing in the park. Backwards swinging feels the same as forwards. But not all the games are as fun backwards. This is backwards! No, this is backwards. Let's play backwards frisbee. Catch! <laughs> Who would like an ice cream? Yay! Oops, we mean no! no! Oh! <laughs> I see you're having a fun backwards day. Ah. <laughs> I'm going to eat my ice cream backwards. Oops. <laughs> Upside down isn't quite the same as backwards. It's all very confusing. I think backwards day might be over now. Peppa and Susie <laughs> Sheep enjoyed backwards day, but they're very glad that things aren't backwards anymore. <laughs> uh, almost got you. Peppa is trying very hard to open a piñata and get the treats inside. Because today, Peppa's playgroup are learning about a Mexican holiday called Cinco de Mayo. Oh, children! We need more decorations for the classroom to make the class look extra happy. So let's make some pom-pom flowers. Pom-pom! <laughs> I like that word. Just attach the cardboard stem to the middle of the ball of tissue paper and voila! Wow! wow. Oh. 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 I can't make the flower. I will help you. <laughs> mm. This is tricky. Oh, dear. <laughs> Everyone has made a lot of pom-pom flowers. Well, did we make too many? Of course not. Now our classroom <laughs> looks extra, extra happy. Next, we're going to make some delicious guacamole. Guacamole? Guacamole. Mm. It's a Mexican treat made of avocados, and you eat it with carrots or cucumber <gasps> or special crisps called tortillas. Oh. Guacamole. <laughs> guacamole. 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 <laughs> Madame Gazelle is peeling an avocado and adding some lime juice and salt to the bowl. Now we just need to mash it all together. <laughs> oh, mm, guacamole! Would anyone like to try some guacamole? Yes, please. Mmm, delicious. Mm. Yummy guacamole, mm. yummy guacamole. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful, Peppa. Another way to celebrate Cinco de Mayo is to sing. Yummy guacamole, yummy guacamole, yummy guacamole. And dancing is another important part of Cinco de Mayo. <laughs> Peppa has hit the piñata and all the sweets are pouring out. Peppa is enjoying her first Cinco de Mayo and really in... <laughs> 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 
Pedro Pony, Candy Cat, Mandy Mouse, Gerald Giraffe and Danny Dog are playing football. Look, Mummy, my friends are playing football. Hello, Peppa. Do you want to play with us? Yes, please. Whoever scores the best goal wins the trophy. Ooh. Peppa loves shiny trophies. Do you want to join our team, Peppa? No, thank you. I will play on my own. I don't think you should play on your own, Peppa. But then I can win the trophy all for myself. Peppa is going to play all on her own against everyone else. Ah! Oh dear. Good try, Peppa. Have another go. Hmm. Maybe I need to kick it harder. <gasps> Um, almost. Here you go, Peppa. Maybe if I use my other foot. Whoa! Oof. You have to score with the ball, not your shoe. Squeak! Hmm, this is too hard. Why don't you have a go in goal? Good idea, Mummy. I'll be a great goalie. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Goal! Mummy, why can they score a goal but I can't? Because, Peppa, football is all about teamwork. And you can't work as a team if you don't have a team in the first place. <laughs> um, can I join your team, please? Of course you can. We've got a spare shirt just for you. Woof, woof. Hooray! But who will play in goal? I will. Just you try and get past me. You scored the goal, Pedro, so you get the trophy. But we all scored the goal together, Peppa. As a team. That's right. You all win the trophy. <coughs> Hooray! <laughs> <gasps> that car went really fast. Don't worry. This is why it's very important to stop. Look. Listen and always wait for the green man before crossing the road. The green man! Remember what we learned, children? Stop, look and listen. All clear, no cars. Let's go. It's safe to cross now. Peppa and her playgroup are learning about road safety today. Hello, Daddy. Hello, Peppa. Peppa's playgroup. Hello, Daddy Pig. Oh, green light. Well, see you later, Peppa. Thank you for helping us, Police Officer Panda. All in a day's work. Peppa is helping Police Officer Panda make sure everyone follows road safety rules. You need to stay on your side of the road. Sorry, Peppa. My wheel is stuck. We'll come help you. Wee-oo, wee-oo, wee-oo. <laughs> We're keeping the road safe for cars and people. <gasps> Pedro hasn't noticed that Green Man has turned to red. Pedro, the red man means don't walk. <laughs> Thanks, Peppa. All in a day's work. <gasps> Wait a minute. Freddy is dressed as a robber. We have to catch the robber. Wee-oo, wee-oo, wee-oo. Oh, 
The red light means stop. There he goes. Now we've got him. Freddy, are you dressed as a robber because you are a robber? No, I just like stripes. Oh, so you're not a robber? Nope. Oh, well, you can go then, but not so fast. OK, bye, Pepper. Ooh. Great work, Officer Pepper. Everyone is remembering to stop, look and listen and only walk when they see... The Green Man! That means we can go! All in a day's work, Officer Panda. Pepper loves keeping everyone safe and everyone <laughs> loves feeling safe. <laughs>